doing some YouTube stuff. Uh, that'd be a fun way to document doing some of these keto experiments. Uh, so mainly for friends or family, anyone that's interested in kind of testing out ketosis and uh, doing some endurance activities with it. Uh, today, uh, what I'm gonna show today is uh, a short run, 10 miles up to uh, the top of a hill and down. Uh, I've been recovering from an ankle sprain and uh, not really into ketosis yet, as you'll see in the video. Uh, so it was kind of a, more of a rough run. Uh, also running through a little bit of the food that I did today. So some of the experiments I want to try are one is uh, just pre-carb loading, uh, um, taking carbs during the workout, and also essentially maybe free meal morning of, maybe even the night before, uh, and then maybe even play a little bit with the ketone supplements, see how those affect ketone levels and maybe how they affect performance with or without carbs. Uh, so it'll be kind of some fun tests, so uh, feel free to uh, give me some recommendations if you want me to mess with anything. All right, so a quick video. Hopefully it's not too painful. All right. So this is uh, previously my usual routine, some amino energy with some coconut oil. Haven't had this for a while since I've been off caffeine, so uh, just recovering from New Year's Eve. Nice little two tablespoons of coconut oil. Delicious. Uh, so this is pre-breakfast, just checking my ketone levels. Uh, so lately I've been not as strict as I have been in the past. Sitting usually between 0.5 and like 1. And uh, as you'll see here, not great, 0.2. So not fully into ketosis, and I've been um, back on since like Thursday, so you know four days ago. But it just kind of shows how not strict I am with you know maybe a little bit more nuts than usual. Here I'm making the breakfast, cooking up some bacon. Um, and then uh, one tip I saw that I liked is cooking up some some of the greens <clears throat> in the bacon grease. Uh, pretty nice. So there's a the final product there, breakfast. So I used more or less in a, a conservative estimate of the amount of carbs I needed, and uh, it took less than that. You sour patch the kitchen because simple carbs. I've taken other stuff that's been a little bit hard on my stomach. Ready to hit this trail run? Let's bring some propel. Not sure if I need fluid for this. Since it's half trail, uh, I put my ankle brace on since I haven't done trail since I sprained my ankle. It's kind of a pain. It's gonna be all uh, chafed up by the time I'm done. Also have all my goodies. Ready for the trip. Well, it's halfway. It's brutal. Combination of being out of shape and uh, freaking not fully into ketosis. Whew. Can't really see there. Kind of cool view, right? Cloudy, can't see the mountains though. So, yeah, that whole run was hard. Um, I think the carbs helped a little bit, but uh, I'm gonna take a five minute break at the top here. It's actually not the top, it's like a like couple hundred yards up there, but I'm calling this good here. So I'm gonna break for a couple minutes and then all downhill will be nice, right? All right, thanks to Matt for uh, recommending the visor. It's coming in handy today. I thought I'd take a quick action shot. Ooh, terrible video quality. I'm gonna have to get like a GoPro or something. All right, it's over, it was brutal. Almost 10 miles. Uh, I'm tired, but not as tired as I've been on just pure keto on this high of an intensity. So let's see how it goes. I'll go check my levels. So I thought I'd throw in some stats from Strava. Overall, 1,700 calories burned, not too bad. Yeah, pace wasn't great. That's a nice elevation there. Pace, slow. And that's bad. High heart rate, not good. This was about 30 minutes after I was back. I uh, tried to find a glucose monitor, see what my levels were, but I 
couldn't find any glucose strips, so I'll have to order some more. Kind of a bummer. Uh, so again, not feeling as terrible as I have in the past after just a straight high intensity um, uh, ketosis workout. Actually, kind of had some energy left over. So from 0.2 up to 0.8, not too bad. So improved. So just the last few seconds here, just my couple more meals to finish off the day. Kielbasa with some Gouda cheese. Some of these cool fatty peely nuts. And uh, so overall, things I would do different would be uh, getting some carbs in me before the run. I kind of felt pretty crummy. This, not crummy, but pretty uh, uh, low energy for the first uh, half an hour. And maybe even upping the carb dose. See how that did. So we're all not too bad. Until next time, thanks for watching. Thank you.